Okay, we're in Chops um, Steakhouse, and uh, we just got to our table. Uh, we already made reservations for tomorrow on our ultimate uh, dining package for uh, lunch at noon. Uh, you can only have lunch at Chops on sea days, and we have two sea days during the week. So, um, excuse the talking. I should have made this video, I guess, after he shut up. Um, but um, we're going to enjoy steak tonight. And I don't know what they serve for lunch, but we're going to do that tomorrow because we have the ultimate dining package. Here we go. Okay, um, I thought I'd make a clip while uh, the guy wasn't screaming over the uh, intercom about... Uh, we got us a menu here at Chops. Uh, the captain or whatever was talking on the ship and I couldn't... Uh, now I got this loud music. It's really loud. But we're at Chops and we're sitting here We got a uh, 5.45, we're gonna order all we want. We got some bread here, and um, colossal shrimp cocktail. You can get all these you want, multiple ones. And then uh, here's the soup and salad. And what, over the other side is the filet, prime rib. And these you can only order one, but other restaurants you can actually order multiple entrees with the dining package. Yes, um, or the a la carte. Okay, so we're gonna make these clips short. We got some bread here at Chops uh, Steakhouse, and um, we can get anything we want for free because we're in the unlimited uh, dining package, and we can have as many appetizers, desserts as we want. On the entrees, we can only order one uh, each. You can't get you know multiple ones. But uh, other restaurants, I think you can get multiple entrees. I'm not saying you're going to eat that many, but, you know, if you just wanted to sample them. So we're going to get a couple of um, appetizers here. And uh, I think I'm going to get the bone-in ribeye. And, of course, she's going to get the filet. We have a rack of lamb. But, like I say, you can only get one. So tonight I'm going to go with the prime bone-in ribeye. Again, very nice here. Um, quite a few people on board, although it's not very many people in shops. You know, our first several cruises, we never did uh, pay extra for uh, these specialty restaurants, but we bought the uh, package. And a little side note, we had some onboard credit because Royal Caribbean dropped their price and they have a promotion going. But when we got on board and checked our account on the television, we discovered that we had 75 more dollars to give us a total of $505 credit. So we're ready to order now. Here's our waiter. So uh, update everyone, we just ordered our appetizers and our entrees. And I'm getting the, uh, as I mentioned before, the um, bone-in ribeye. So I asked the, the waiter, you know, occupancy is not that full and they're not pressed with getting people out of here you know, with the reservation situation. So I said, we can only get, we can get multiple appetizers, but not multiple entrees, right? He says, he, he leaned over to me and said, like you wanted to tell me a secret. And he says, the whole menu for you. <laughs> so, you know, if I want to order uh, salmon after, uh, or this steak isn't to my satisfaction, or if I want to order a, uh, a filet mignon afterwards, I can. So already, the money we pay for this ultimate dining package is totally worth it. And we're, like I said, we're booked again tomorrow at noon for lunch here because they're open on sea days and uh, that's going to be great. I don't know what kind of a menu it is, but we're going to be eating well. All right, so here we are at the uh, Chop Steakhouse restaurant. Uh, we went ahead and found out there was an additional $75 onboard credit taking us over $500. So when you come on the boat, they're everywhere. They're all hitting you up. Do you want to buy the drink package? Do you want to buy the drink package? Which is like $550 for the week, you know, the unlimited or the, or the dining package. And we get free drinks. And so instead of getting uh, a two dining, a two dining package and a three dining package, you can get the ultimate package. And it comes to $512. So we went ahead and um, 
drop the entire onboard credit and we can eat at multiple places now for the whole week including breakfast places uh, Johnny Rockets everything and we don't have to worry about you know paying the retail it's still gonna be you know difficult getting your money's worth probably but whatever it was found money so that's what we did and also the guy told me on the menu here you're, you can order as much as you want on the menu but you can order only one entree so uh, Tammy's getting the um, uh, filet mignon, of course. I'm getting the prime rib, not prime rib, bone-in ribeye. And I said, okay, you can get all, you can get unlimited appetizers and unlimited desserts, but you can only order one entree, right? The guy leans over like he's telling me a secret. He goes, anything on the menu you want, anything, unlimited. <laughs> I think they kind of limit you to the uh, one entree because they're normally so busy here. They want to rush you out. But as you can see, there's nobody in here. So, you know, there's no rush. So if I want to, you know, I don't like the taste of this steak or I want to get the salmon next or whatever, I can do that. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay, guys, we got a few more people in here, a bigger crowd. And uh, looking around, it's filling up in here pretty good. And we just received our first appetizers. I've got some kind of a tuna thing, tuna to tart. And then this is, she's not gonna eat it, but I had it, and she's gonna taste it. It's a, a piece of bacon, I forgot what it's called, um, but it's super tender, look at that. And I'm gonna be trying this, this tuna out. What's the verdict? Good. It's good, she says. Let's try this out for me. That's raw tuna. It tastes excellent. Tastes excellent. I want to try this now. So, who has not cruised before? Very good. Okay, of course, we're still at Chops here. What have I got in front of me? Look at this presentation. Shrimp cocktail. I love that tuna thing that I had. So, I told you, the guy already told me. You want more? You want more? So, I said, well, that tuna thing was pretty good. This is our fourth appetizer. And Tammy got the wedge. This is famous here. And we don't find this often at restaurants, but this is really good. It's nice and chilled. Got some bacon bits on it. So we're going to enjoy these. Look at this shrimp cocktail. But this tuna, if you like sushi or just tuna, it just melts in your mouth. No fishy taste or anything. It's delicious. I even ate both of those. I won't eat these, but I'm going to enjoy that. Bon appetit. Okay, the... Uh, <laughs> the entree has arrived, and uh, she's got her filet mignon. And look at this bone-in ribeye. These are truffle french fries and uh, baked potato. And this is Rajiv. Yes. And what are we going to put on here? Red wine sauce and a béarnaise sauce. Oh, what do you suggest? That béarnaise, maybe? This one? Okay. I can give you both a little bit. All right. This is the peppercorn, and then we have some béarnaise. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Bon appetit. Okay, so we're going to share these two desserts. I've got a really nice deep dish apple pie a la mode. And Tammy is having the classic cheesecake with strawberries on the top. Raspberries. Oh, raspberries. I'm sorry. So uh, he's bringing us a couple of coffees now. And uh, that's our experience at, uh, at Chops. How is it?